Hello, uh, this is Dave Major. I work for Microfocus and I'm a sales engineer. And I'd like today to show you our threat hunting tool called Recon. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of what our new GUI tool or central tool that um, is called Fusion. And then I'll go into a persona as an analyst, what a, a day in the life would be to use these tools. So to start off with, this is our dashboard. Um, our GUI. So we have a dashboard a widget. You can go into this is called Recon as Search Insights. So we have some machine learning built into this and that's insights. And also we can go to our intelligence tool. We got the command center that's dealing with our SIM, some config parameters. We got reporting, our SOAR tab. They can jump right to our SOAR tool. And ArcMC is our tool to uh, monitor our connectors, so our ingestion, and our uh, message bus, the Kafka message bus called Transformation Hub, and then some administration. You could set up roles. These are all single sign-on, so you just need to click. So with that, I'd like to jump into my persona and say I'm Dave as an analyst. So I got my first cup of coffee, and I the first thing I do is I come in and look at, right now is this command center. I opened up a tab. So I see right away a big green line saying there's a bunch of unknowns. So that catches my eye. Scroll down and I look at our top 10 targets that there's an IP. So 72, 52, 10, 14. So you end up looking at almost 12,000 hits on that. that that's very concerning. Um, and the type of indicators that is su suspicious, bot activity and malware. So just remember these three. Um, but suspicious. So I'm like, all right, uh, there's definitely something going on. So my background is I'm a network guy, which most analysts are. So if I go into here where you got reports, this is the tab I've opened. We have a repository that has all different kinds of reports. So I like to run a network report. So I'll look at how many attempts that I've had. And you can see that we have a lot of activity around a brute force. So detected attempts. So this definitely gets my heckles up. So I need to now start going and doing some searching. So I'm gonna go into Recon, which is our threat hunting tool to dive into of this suspicious activity. So these are the different kinds of searches that can currently be out there. So I'm going to now look at categorization. Oops. Let's go here, categorization, um, and by significance. And I want to look at stuff that's suspicious that we want to. So it's very easy just to click on this. It's called IntelliSense. Uh, we also have here our um, common event formats, our schema, the fancy way of saying that, that we parse all the data coming into our schema and you can look at it in different views of this data. So I want to look at its categories. So I could look and say, all right, what is a um, the category outcome? What is the behavior or that? So I don't have to be specific around specific devices or that, that I can look at that. And I want to see the last seven days. So I want to see everything that was suspicious. And as you can see, the, how this sets up, there's a timeline that runs and then all the base events that come out. So if you look at, as this is filling out, there's a category behavior. So when you look at that behavior, you can look at the top 10 and the bottom 10. So there's only, right now it shows with authentication, you see verification and deletes. All right, so there's definitely a lot of activity coming in towards, towards that. And uh, if you start looking at how many rules we have out there, So it shows we have a rule uh, 105 and 102, and I, later on I'll explain what those are, that you'll be able to see that. All right, so you can look at here, and here is the category outcomes. There's failures, there's attempts, makes me nervous, there's success. Because that means 19% they're coming in. So is this valid that somebody was in there or am I being hacked? So we did see that around bots that are coming in. So I, I have a sneaky 
feeling that I'm being attacked right now and I need to look at this. So I want to start looking at that IP address. So if I go and, now you could just with a Telesense, which is really nice, we could just type the IP in. So it knows that based on what I'm typing that this is an IP. Oops, go to here. And IP, so any IP. So I'm looking, also I want to not just look at categories, I also want to look at endpoints. And I'll start doing the search. So again, anything that's suspicious for that IP, so whether it's the host, um, source or destination. So we want to take a look at any events that, that are currently out there. Uh, one of the things to show is as you're looking at these events, you can click on it and then it shows you the whole schema here. You can pick all your choices and look at certain things, but I like using field sets. It's just e it's easier. So it pulled back 2 million uh, events that I'll be looking through. So if we look at this behavior, we can see that we have 100% that are deletes. So when we look at that specifically, and then here's that rule that we were coming back with, the 102. All right, and if you look at the username that's coming in for this, um, we all, well, actually, the rule, you got the 1136, um, that's the MITRE. So if you come back here and we want to go look at our dashboard, so look at the, so 1136 is a create an ID. So when we look at this as a user account, create and delete within 24 hours. So we have a bunch of attacks that they're creating and deleting. If you can click on this, it goes out to the MITRE attack page and tells you how to do mitigations for this with multi-factor or uh, segmentation of your network. All right, but then when I look at and say, all right, um, oh, the one other point I wanted to make, you can also look at the specific device. And we see that this is one specific device that's being hit. So I have a feeling that this is gonna be our administrator. And let me page through to where the user is. All right. And then if you look at source username, so let's do a sort and you see it's administrator. So that gets me really worried because now it's a, the administrator is coming through. We saw that they're doing the, the create and deletes. So let's go and look inside our insights and we're gonna look at our intelligent tool. So we're gonna look at entities at risk And when we come in here, it actually will tell you. So these are all the different uh, stuff we do with our machine learning. So we end up with 25 million events and we find how many anomalies and there's five risky entities. So that's what we come down to these users and we see the administrators at the top. So when we click on the administrator, we see that he has been pegged at 100% risk score. So we do a, a zero to 100 risk score um, for the last month. So I'm, that's very concerning. Um, these are all the different anomalies that are out there. So one of the things you can do is let's just look at one of these anomalies. So it shows that he has gone through and he does, typically they access 1.4 uh, drives an hour and they were going after five. So we can view this event, the specific detail of what kind of, of access they're doing we can actually look at the raw data, but what I want to show you, what's really nice is now this is a search. We can go back for that specific anomaly and go back into recon. It builds the search for you. And let's do the range. Let's say the last seven days. And here is our user is the administrator, what he's looking for his hosts and categories. And we find this is a bunch of data. One of the things when I see something very consistent like this, I think about it being a bot. 
And so that was one of the things we saw in our, our screen the, for the um, command center that we have bot activity to. So um, with that, all this information that we have right now, if you had our, you can use our SOAR tool and create a case and save all this, and then we pass to level two. But we definitely identified that our administrator and our host, and that we definitely have an attack that's going on and that we have a bot that's um, come and successfully um, hacked our environment.